Hello everybody, it's Nick here. I'm back again with another video on my computer. And well, you might be thinking, oh come on, where's the MBTA content? Well, I'm just pushing that stuff aside because I've, I've just achieved something that I honest to God did not think I would have been able to achieve. I have gotten macOS to run bare metal on my Hackintosh Pro computer here. And it's pretty fucking incredible if you ask me. Now, I had been I've been attempting to do this for about half a year now, and the process that I've been going about to do this has all has, has just been wrong. Every time I would try to get to install macOS, it just wouldn't work. I tried Clover Bootloader, and uh, that just did not work. And then eventually I tried Open Core Bootloader, and I had a hard time configuring that, given that Open Core is a completely different bootloader compared to Clover. Now, I'm not really going to tell you a lot about how I installed it, I'm just going to show you the system, show you what it's like, and kind of tell you what exactly I can do with it. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so now that I've told you that I have macOS running on here, what I can do with this system is very, very minimal. Given that, well, to get this graphic, to get this interface that I'm, that I even have up front here, which is my desktop, I have to have a graphics card plugged in. And well, for those of you who don't know, or for those of you who have not watched my other video about how I built my Hackintosh Pro, I have an NVIDIA 3080 Ti. And well, Apple and NVIDIA, they don't quite get along. And so basically, I don't have a GPU for this Hackintosh build. However, that does not mean that I don't get any video output at all. There is a kernel kext that I have loaded onto OpenCore EFI shell that allows me to basically use any type of GPU as a basic dedicated graphics processor. So basically the kext is whatever green, which basically just allows any type of GPU to be converted and allow, and allow it to be used by macOS, even if the GPU itself isn't supported. Now, the thing is, is that I only have eight megabytes megabytes of video RAM, which is, which is nothing. That's like, that's like back in the eighties, eight megabytes worth of video RAM was practically fucking unheard of. Whereas now eight megabytes can barely do anything. I'm surprised that the whole operating system is even running and doing the things I want to with eight megabytes of video RAM. It is atrociously small, but Hey, it gets the job done just fine. So I'm not complaining here. However, the rest of the system actually performs really well. My processor is detected, and I'll even do, I'll even do a NeoFetch right now. Now I can't really show you a. Oh my god, this is chugging so much. And yes, due to the fact that I don't have a graphics card, the interface chugs like fucking crazy. Even though this is a modern operating system that doesn't have as an intensive user interface. The actual operating system chugs a lot, even when doing bare minimum tasks. Like, even just opening up the launch pad and selecting terminal, it takes a while, just given how much the operating system just chugs. So, let's just do NeoFetch. So, so for those of you who who, uh, who can see this on, on screen right now, the host is Hackintosh, and the SM BIOS I've set it to is iMac Pro 1.1. Which basically, I did this to basically make it so that macOS identifies this computer as an iMac Pro. And I did that specifically because, well, the guide told me to, and I figured the iMac Pro would be the best option for me to do this setup on, given that the machine was released back in 2017, and is still being, still being updated and supported to this day. However, I did want to try to change it to a Mac Pro, given that this is running off of a Mac Pro case, but hey, I'm good with what I got right now. And as for the actual detecting my hardware here, it does say that I have an Intel Core i7 10700K, which is exactly what I have. I have a 10th generation Intel Core i7, and it even says the same processor frequency, which is 3.8 gigahertz. Now, it does not say that I have a GPU, but when I go under about this Mac here, it does say that I do have a, a built-in graphics card here graphics display 8 megabytes. So now that isn't much but it it just gets it done. And even and even in NeoFetch here it does show that I have 32 gigs of RAM installed. And well, given that, I'm surprised that I was even able to get this even running on this computer at all. I was 
I'm just surprised that this is running bare metal and everything's fine so far. Given I have had to, I've run into quite a bit of issues of getting this to be actually stable, the actual operating system itself chugs like fucking crazy. I cannot re I can not use this as a daily driver just yet. I have to buy myself an AMD GPU to even get bare minimum performance requirements in just the interface alone. But that will be for another time. I'll probably spend some money on a on a bare minimum AMD GPU and we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much just what I wanted to tell you guys, that I got Hackintosh running on this, and so far, I'm doing pretty good. So if you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and also leave a comment down below telling me what you think. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.